I have on the, the sheet things that you want to talk about, the things that you have okay. ideas about, right? And one of yep. them was uh, prototyping for production. So I'm curious, like, mm -hmm. what's what's running through your mind on that topic? So um, I actually do this. Uh, I do this as a lecture at over at Miami University here locally in uh, in, in Cincinnati. And um, you know, prototyping the production for me is really about you know, there's some some core principles in sort of the process you, that you design when you're prototyping. Um, a particular feature or a particular product, like a full product, that if you if you follow them and you you know you you you, know, you sort of use these guiding principles, you can you know make it really flexible. And so what you don't end up with is you know a bunch of code that you end up throwing away at the end of the day. So you know a lot of people won't take the time to invest when they're prototyping. They'll just try to get it done as quickly as possible and sort of building things in a very modular uh, style. Um, and if you, you know, sort of focus on building the components and, you know, the individual maybe like services, if you're doing, if, you know, if you think you're going to end up in like a service oriented architecture, um, you know, and, and, and sort of focusing on the pieces of it, you know, you can pretty put together a pretty good Lego set for building a prototype that, you know, will serve you as you even go into maybe future prototypes. Cause you can say, you know, Hey, I need a, a service that just, you know, sends, you know, newsletters or emails or, or you know, it, you know, plugs into Twilio and, you know, it sends an SMS and you, you know, you sort of have those, you know, those tools in your toolkit as you're going into prototyping. And so as you're, going through the wireframe process and sort of identifying that what I encourage anybody, you know, that's engaging from a technical side to do is, you know, not to look at, you know, the features of what the product, you know, not necessarily just the features that the product needs to, to accomplish or to do, but also, you know, what are the building blocks that compose the particular system and, and focus on dividing those into chunks with really good sort of clean interfaces on them so that they can be reused. So even if you're focused on the wrong thing and you, you know, decide, okay, this is a horrible idea. We, you know, the, you, our, our market's telling us to go in a different direction. You still are able to sort of break apart those pieces and reuse them to quickly construct that next prototype. Um, so you don't end up with one giant monolithic piece of code that, you know, then ends up needing to be completely re-engineered when you actually go to just, even if it is successful, even to scale it. Right. Oh, so you just like, so write code the right way at the beginning. Yeah. And I mean, so many people will just immediately go to, you know, I'm just going to build it really quickly, right? Like, and they just start, you know, they create one project and everything just gets slammed into that one project. And then when they go to change something, they spend the entire time chasing all the things that they broke because the code's just thrown together too quick.